Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. Today we have this um have a the IMT math tournament. The question says solve s to the power of 2x to the power of 6 equal to 3. What is the value of x that will satisfy this challenge here? So if you're new here, this is all I must TV. And if you've not subscribed, do it to subscribe. Okay, so let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. So here yeah, we take our solution. So here yeah, we have solution. All right. Now the first thing we're going to do here is easy. Yeah, we're going to look at this exponent here now. So we have want to uh, substitute something for our x to the power of six here. So let's do this simple substitution here. So we're going to say here, let um, let's our x to the power of six let x to the power of six be equal to our p here. So if we have this to be equal to p there, we can make s the subject for the formula by taking the sixth root of both sides of the equation. And so we're going to have our x is equal to p to the power of 1 all over 6 here. So let's replace our x with this in the original equation. So from the original equation, whenever we see s, let's put in this value in there. So this is going to give us here, or we can say this now implies our p to the power of 1 all over 6 there close bracket here we have 2 so we're going to have here 2 into our x again so our x here is going to give us yeah which is yeah we have p to the power of 1 all over 6 close bracket all to the power of 6 everything equal to what our 3 so let's look carefully here yeah this power will cancel out this root here this this will leave okay according to the law of um, indices which says that if you have your a to the power of m n this is equal to our a to the power of m there okay? so this right so if we use this to open up this so this will leave the system so automatically we're going to have our expression to be p to the power of one all over six all raised to our two p equal to three so we look here now. Again, if we succumb to this law, we can use this to cancel our dx, right? So this will now end up giving us our p to the power of, um, we'll be left with 3 here. So we have 1 all over 3 all to the power of p. This is equal to 3. So let's continue here. Again, we can use this p to open this power here. So this will now give us, uh, this now implies, so we're going to have your, our p all to the power of this, so to the power of p all raised to 1 all over 3. Okay? So this is equal to our 3. So we want to um, eliminate this 1 all over 3 years. So we take the cube of both sides. So this now gives us our p to the power of p, the bracket, all to the power of 1 all over 3, all to the power of 3. This is equal to 3 to the power of 3. So what happened, according to that law, again, this, this leaves. So we now have our p to the power of p is equal to 3 to the power of 3. So what does this imply? It means p is equal to 3. So we cannot conclude that this now implies that, therefore, p is equal to 3. So if we have p is equal to 3, Let's come to where we have a relationship between x and our p here. Because it is x we have in the question, the original equation. So how do we get our x is easy? So we can say here, recall that we have our x to the power of 6 is equal to what? Uh, a p here. So here, we've made s the subject of the formula already. So let's quickly pick this. So this is going to give us here our x is equal to p to the power of 1 all over 6. And what is p? p is equal to 3. So this is equal to our 3 to the power of 1 all over 6. So therefore, our x is equal to 3 to the power of 1 all over 6. All right. Now we can do a quick check to see if this actually satisfies the original equation. So let's take a check to this. So here we have our check. Let's take check. 
From our major question, we have here x to the power of 2 into s to the power of 6. This is equal to 3. So wherever we see s, let's put in this value there. So this is going to give us 3, okay, to the power of 1 all over 6 here, the all raised to the power of 2, the into, what is our x again? 3, all to the power of 1, all over 6, the all raised to the power of 6. This is equal to 3. This, we live with this. And we are left with what? 2 times 3. So this is going to give us 3, to the power of 1, all over 6, all to the power of 2 times 3, will give us what? 6, equal to 3. So again, according to the law, this will leave. So now let's say 3 is equal to 3. So this shows that the answer, x equal to 3 to the power of 1 all over 6, satisfies the original equation. So this is a very simple Harvard MIT math tournament. So if you learn something from this short video, however simple it may be, give the video a thumbs up, you have a better way of solving this too maybe within 30 seconds. Drop it in the comment section so that Online Mass TV can equally learn from you. Thanks for being there. Keep watching Online Mass TV till we meet you again in our classes. Keep winning. Bye for now.